ever felt overwhelmed, buried under tasks with little progress to show? It's a common scenario for entrepreneurs, faced with endless tasks and choices. The book Rework introduces the power of no to entrepreneurs, teaching them to use it reasonably to clear space for what truly matters. Saying no to misaligned opportunities means saying yes to your priorities and success. Let's explore these concepts with real-life examples from a startup tailored for accountants. Establish clear priorities. Before you can effectively say no, you need to have a clear understanding of what is important to your business. Identify your core values, goals, and what success looks like for your company. This understanding will guide you in making decisions that align with your business's priorities. Imagine your SaaS company is dedicated to streamlining tax preparation for accountants. Your core goal is to simplify the tax filing process with automation, accuracy, and ease of use. When approached with an opportunity to expand your software to include broader financial planning tools, you realize this doesn't align directly with your core mission of simplifying tax preparation. Saying no to expanding into financial planning allows you to concentrate on enhancing your tax software's features like improving its user interface and integrating more tax codes. Develop criteria for decision-making. Develop a set of criteria or a checklist that any new project, feature, or client request must meet before you consider it. This could include factors such as alignment with company goals, potential return on investment, impact on workload, and fit with current resources and capabilities. You create a checklist that any new feature request must meet, such as, does this feature simplify the tax preparation process? When a large client requests a custom feature that would only be useful for their complex, internal audit process, a feature that does not align with your service's focus on tax preparation, you refer to your checklist and decide this doesn't meet your criteria. You respectfully decline, focusing resources on universally beneficial improvements. Practice saying no. Saying no can be uncomfortable, especially when you're worried about offending someone or missing out on an opportunity. Prepare scripts or standard responses that respectfully decline offers or requests. For example, thank you for thinking of us, but we're currently focusing on specific goal or project, and we won't be able to take on new commitments. A potential partner wants to integrate your software into a broader suite of financial services tools. While the offer is tempting, it would dilute your product's focus and stretch your development team thin. You use a prepared script to decline the offer. We're flattered by your interest, but we're committed to focusing on making the best tax preparation software for accountants. We believe keeping our focus narrow is key to our customers' success and ours. Educate your team. It's important that your team also understands the company's priorities and has the ability to say no to tasks or projects that don't align. Educate them on the criteria for evaluating opportunities and encourage them to use these guidelines when making decisions. Your sales team is approached by potential clients interested in using your software for purposes slightly outside its intended use case. By understanding the company's priorities, your sales team can explain why your software might not be the best fit for those clients and instead focus on serving accountants, your target market. Focus on strategic yeses. When you do say yes, it should be strategic and for a reason that aligns with your business objectives. Make sure that every yes represents a conscious decision to allocate time, resources, and energy in a direction that benefits your business. After turning down several opportunities that didn't align with your core mission, a new integration opportunity with a major accounting platform comes along. This integration would significantly enhance your software's utility for your target users without straying from your primary focus. Recognizing the strategic alignment, you decide to pursue this opportunity enthusiastically. Learn from each no.
After saying no, take time to reflect on the outcome. Often you'll find that saying no frees up resources and energy to focus on more impactful projects. Use these reflections to reinforce the value of being selective and to refine your decision-making criteria over time. After saying no to developing the broader financial planning tools, you notice your team has more time to address feedback from your accountant users, leading to features that significantly reduce the time it takes to file taxes. This reinforcement of your decision to say no helps validate your strategy and refine your future decision-making process. In conclusion, resist the urge to say yes to every opportunity, task, or client. Remember, your resources are finite. Spend them wisely. Have you ever said no to a client? Tell us when and what drove that decision in the comments below. Let's learn from each other.